Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry and today I'll be showing you how to crochet these sheep. I'll be using these colours. You need black, white and another colour of cotton or wool. I use four ply crochet cotton. I use sewing thread to stitch my sheep together and I use a darning needle to weave in my ends. You'll also need a crochet hook, scissors and a sewing needle to sew your sheep together. Now I'm starting with the head. I've got grey cotton and I start with a magic loop. And I work three chain and then into the circle I work 14 double crochet. And pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch into the third chain. For row two we start with three chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and then we work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll complete this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row I slip stitch into the third chain and then work three chain for the beginning of the third row. I work one double crochet into the same place as the chain and then I work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then two double crochet into the following stitch. Now I work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch and repeat that all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two and two into the following stitch all the way round. So I'll do that and I'll meet you at the end of the row. For the first here we start with two chain and then work two half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then we work two chain and turn and we work a decrease half double crochet into the next two stitches. And one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then two chain and turn and then a decrease half double crochet over all three stitches. And that's the first ear done. We fasten off Now the second ear starts in the twelfth stitch from this one so Thank you. 
and I start with two chain and work two half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then work two chain and turn and I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then a decreased half double crochet over the next two stitches. And then two chain and then a decrease half double crochet over all three stitches. And that's the second ear finished. Now I'll do the feet while I've got my grey. I'll start with the front feet and I start with seven chain. I miss the first three chain and I work one double crochet into each of the other chain. For row 2 I start with 3 chain and turn and I work a double crochet into each stitch across. For row 3 I start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into each stitch across. and then fasten off. Now for the black, I join it in the top of the third chain. And I work three chain and work a double crochet in the same place as the chain and then work one double crochet into each stitch across. and fasten off. And that's the front foot. I'd need two of those. For the back legs I start with six chain I miss the first three chain and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end.
For row two, I work three chain and turn, and then work one double crochet into each stitch. and fasten off. For the hoof, I join the black into the top of the three chain. And work three chain. and a double crochet into the same place and then one double crochet into each stitch and fasten off. And that's the back foot. I'd need two of those. For the nose I start with a magic loop and work two chain and then work four half double crochet into the circle. And pull my circle tight and fasten off. And I've got a little triangle. For the inner eye, we start with a magic loop and work one chain and then work two single crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch into the chain. And fasten off. I'll need two. For the outer eye, I use white and start with a magic loop and work three chain and then work a three double crochet cluster into the circle pull the circle tight and fasten off I've got a flattish bottom and a bit of a point over the top. I'll need two of those. For the top knot I'm using my white and I start with 10 chain. Into the fifth chain from the hook I work three treble Four chain and slip stitch into the same place as the treble. Now I slip stitch into the next stitch 
and work four chain and work a treble into the same place. Then I work a treble into the next stitch four chain and slip stitch into the same place as the last treble. Then I slip stitch into the next stitch and work four chain and work a treble into the same place a treble into the next stitch four chain slip stitch into the same stitch as the last treble and then slip stitch into the last stitch and work four chain and then I work three treble into the last stitch and four chain slip stitch into the last stitch and now I slip stitch into the back of the chain and work Four, four chain and work a treble into the same place a treble into the back of the next chain and then four chain slip stitch into the back of the next chain and work four chain and a treble into the same place and a treble into the next stitch and four chain and then slip stitch into the same place as the last treble and then slip stitch into the base of the first cluster and fasten off and that's the top knot for the body we start with a magic loop and work three chain and then we work two double crochet and then three chain and slip stitch into the circle and that's our first cluster. 
we're going to work six clusters like that. So three chain, two double crochet, three chain and slip stitch into the circle. and three chain, two double crochet, three chain and slip stitch into the circle. I'll work three more And when we're finished, we just slip stitch into the base of the first cluster and pull the circle a little bit tight, but not too tight. And then we slip stitch into the back of the first cluster, just onto the near side. I normally just catch about two stitches and then we work three chain and then slip stitch into the same cluster on the other side and then work three chain and then slip stitch into the second cluster just at the near side and work three chain We'll do that all the way around and then slip stitch in the same cluster on the other side and three chain. So we'll have two three chain loops for each cluster. And then I just slip stitch at the base of the first three chain loop and then slip stitch into the loop and for row three I start with three chain and work two double crochet three chain 
and slip stitch into the same loop. Then I slip stitch into the next loop and repeat three chain two double crochet three chain slip stitch into the same loop and then slip 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 stitch into the next loop and repeat the three chain and two double crochet three chain and slip stitch into the same loop so I'll finish this row and then I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the base of the first cluster and then I work one chain and then slip stitch into the centre bottom of the first cluster and then work three chain and slip stitch into the centre base of the next cluster. And three chain and then slip stitch into the centre base of the following cluster. And we work like that all the way round. So I'll finish this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the base of the first three chain loop and then slip stitch into the loop and then work our clusters. Three chain, two double crochet, three chain and slip stitch into the same loop and slip stitch into the next loop and then work another cluster of three chain, two double crochet, three chain, slip stitch into the same loop and then slip stitch into the next loop. So I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you at the end. We slip stitch into the base of our first cluster and then slip stitch into the near side of the first cluster. Row 6 has worked the same as row 2. So we do 3 chain and then slip stitch at the other side of the base of the first cluster and Three chain and slip stitch on the near side of the next cluster. Three chain and slip stitch on the other side of the cluster. And we continue like that all the way round. The back looks like that. I'll continue round and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now we slip stitch into the base of the first three chain loop and then slip stitch into the first three chain loop and we're going to work another lot of clusters. So three chain and two double crochet into the loop, three chain, slip stitch into the same loop and slip stitch into the next loop. So we repeat that all the way round, three chain, two double crochet into the same loop, three chain, and then slip stitch into the same loop and slip stitch into the next loop. And I'll work this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the base of the first cluster and work one chain 
and slip stitch into the bottom centre of the first cluster at the back. And then we work three chain and slip stitch into the bottom centre of the back of the next cluster. And we continue round the row like that, three chain and slip stitch into the bottom centre of the following cluster. So I'll work this row and then I'll see you again. When we finish the row we slip stitch into the base of the three chain loop and then slip stitch into the first loop and we work another row of clusters. So three chain, two double crochet into the loop Three chain and slip stitch into the loop and then slip stitch into the next loop and then work another cluster of three chain, two double crochet, three chain, slip stitch into the same loop. and then slip stitch into the next loop. So I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the base of the first cluster and fasten off. And that's the body done. And the back looks like that. Now I'll crochet some more legs and eyes and weave in my ends and I'll be back to show you how to put it together. Now I'll attach my nose to my face. The pointy bit faces down and the flat bit goes just above, just over the circle, centre circle. For my eyes, I attach the black bits against the flat bit at the bottom. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now I've stitched the inner eyes onto the outer eyes and the nose on. I've also stitched a mouth on. Next I stitch the eyes onto the face. Just about there looks okay so I'll do that and I'll be back. Next I attach my head to the body. I put it higher than centre. I've got three rows underneath and two rows on top. Now I just stitch around the head, I leave the ears free so they, they stick out a bit like that. So I'll do that. Now the head's on, so next I attach the front feet. They just slip underneath with a little bit of a gap between and as even as possible. That looks about right. And I'll also stitch the top knot on. I just stitch along the centre part, just a line along there, so it can pop up a bit. So I'll stitch those on, and we'll be back to put the back legs on. And the last thing we do is attach the back legs in behind the front legs, as even as you can. Just in like that. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back to show you the finished sheep. And there's the finished sheep. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on P 
Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details are, the, are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.